Hey, this is Bobby Holland with Bipper Media, and you are listening to SEO Secrets. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another SEO Secrets podcast episode. My name is Abigail Holland, and I will be your host, and I get the privilege to talk about how to choose the best backlink building service for you and your business. So we got lots of good stuff going today. Um, And honestly, some of this content and some of the points that I'm going to go over are questions I was just asked this very week. So in the world of backlink building, there's a lot to ask. There's a lot to know. So let's dive right into it. Starting with number one on how to choose the best backlink building service is experience. I know, I know, I know. That's probably a no-brainer, but I'm here to tell you that experience is important. I know it's probably a shocker, but it is. Um, (laughs) We want to look at experience. We want to find somebody who, you know, really knows what they're doing. Maybe someone who has a very well profound client portfolio Um, They got lots of connections to directories and sites, and they've just done X amount of research, and they've been in the business, they've seen the different algorithm updates, things like that. That is your guy. You want to go to that person who just really knows what they're doing, and someone who can maybe even back up, you know, the years of experience that they have. Um, Great questions to ask is maybe how many clients has that person helped? Um, maybe what's the results, you know, um, what's the process of how you maybe even learned to build backlinks or what are your credentials, things like that. Whenever you're trying to find someone and you're hiring somebody to build these backlinks, it is like a interview. You're interviewing this person. So you want to make sure that this person is a good fit and that they have your business's best interest. So these are all really good and important questions to ask. And experience is the number one thing. So once you got that down, you guys talked about it, you got their experience. Now you want to ask them about number two, services. What kind of services do you offer? Once you've found an experienced backlink building firm, you want to take a second and consider your needs and your goals. So There are several different services out there. Every SEO company does it differently. There's different strategies depending on different types of backlinks. That all gets kind of confusing, but we'll just kind of stick to the basics of what is your need and what is your goal. So once you have that kind of laid out, that's something that you're going to be able to easily communicate with this SEO firm that you're talking to. Um, And, you know, Once you have that guideline, then it's going to be very direct, clear path of what you need and how to get from point A to point B. So services, talk to them about what they offer, the different types of paths they offer, and see which one fits best for you and your needs and your goals. So next, that goes into process. So as I said before, there's lots of different ways that you can go about building backlinks. Um, And it all depends also on the type of backlink that you're wanting to um, create and also how many backlinks you're wanting to create. So you want someone who is just very well-rounded and very well educated in this field so that way they can discuss the process with you very clearly um, and someone who can also just educate um, just super well because I know that the SEO world can be very confusing. It's kind of like a foreign language so you want someone who can explain the process to you in a very simplistic way but also a very effective way. You want to understand what's going on and kind of the back end um, of the processes. So understanding the process is super important for a backlink building service. That would be number three. Going on to number four, case studies. So going back to the experience point, whenever I said that you want to find someone who has maybe a client portfolio. So if this person that you're talking to, an SEO firm, um, and they do backlink building services, typically, now I say typically, they have case studies. They have befores and afters. Um, Speaking from firsthand experience, it is 
it takes time for you to develop that strategy that works. And especially with Google's algorithm updates, just constantly, you know, we all know it updates all the time. So therefore, as an SEO company, you also have to change. So there's a lot of trial and error. So being able to present that and being vulnerable and transparent to, um, you know, the people who are having that conversation with you, um, that's something that you want to ask as a consumer, someone who's looking to buy backlinks for that company to be transparent and maybe share some case studies, you know, maybe ask what's worked, what has not worked. Um, so just some, maybe some befores and afters and also especially results that they've seen, that would all really help you get a bigger picture of what you're getting into and are these backlinks really going to work for you and your business. So a case study is a great way to go about that. And that would be number four. Number five, um, I feel like these are kind of going hand in hand. So with a client portfolio, if they have the experience and they've been in the business for a couple of years, check out their Google My Business profile. Try and search the internet for any kind of reviews that other people have left, um, working with them, what their experience is like. Maybe you could even reach out to them personally and just say, hey, um, how is this process? How is it communicating with them? Um, did you see results? Things like that. Reviews say a lot about people um, and a lot about businesses. And I know Google is very strict on keeping reviews honest. And, you know, if someone has two star reviews, there's not a whole lot that Google's going to do for you in trying to remove bad reviews. So um, pay attention to that. That's really helpful in guiding you and your decision making on finding a backlink building service reviews. That's a really good one. If you're enjoying this episode, I wanted to take a quick break and invite you to uh, get one of our free ebooks called the 25 Local SEO Tips to Growing Your Business. Um, it's one of our most popular ebooks, and you can get it right now by clicking the link in the description. And that's it. Let's get back to the show. Number six, communication. So a company's ability to communicate is super important, especially whenever you, the consumer, are entrusting this person. You're giving a lot of money because, you know, as we all know, SEO is an investment. You are investing in this person. You're investing in these services because you want to see the outcome. You want to see the ROI on the backlinks that you've just spent a bunch of money on. So you kind of want to just be in touch. You want to know, um, have a very good guideline and a very good set of expectations of the service that you're receiving. And, you know, find someone that sends you monthly updates. Now, I always tell people who work with us personally, a week to week basis, and especially a day to day basis check in is not efficient especially in the world of SEO, you kind of want to give things a month or so to get a bigger picture of what's working and what's not. Um, but someone that's checking in on you, just saying, hey, um, this is where we're at with your project. Hope everything is well. Let me know if you have any questions. Something as small as that is going to make somebody feel really comfortable. So um, as a consumer, you really want to look for a company that has very good communication. Um, someone who's also going to maybe share the backlinks that they built for you or a report, befores and afters. Um, those are all super important components to consider whenever you're looking for a backlink building service. So that would be communication number six. Number seven, pricing may or may not be a no brainer, but let's talk about pricing because I talk about pricing a lot. We don't like to talk about money, you know. As a person who works for an SEO company, I'm dealing with a bunch of local companies and, you know, some of the things are a bit out of budget. And if we could all have it our way, we would just be handing things out for free. Unfortunately, business is business, services is services. We got to we got to put a price to things. But instead of choosing the cheapest service, hear me out. You want to make sure that you are investing in high quality backlinks, high quality. I'm going to say it again, invest in high quality backlinks. All right, everybody say it with me now, high quality backlinks. <laughs> 
Um, we want to be careful with the types of backlinks that we're spending our money on. Now, if you're going to pay $20 for a set of like 200, 300 backlinks, I think it would be safe to assume that those backlinks are not high authority links and are not do follow links also. So basically with that being said, $20 down the drain. And if anything, those backlinks are probably going to hurt you than help you. So I always tell people whenever I'm talking about pricing, you're paying for the quality in the backlink. Um, and again, some of these numbers can be pretty hefty. They can be a really big commitment, but it's all about the quality in the backlinks. I keep saying that and I hope it's sticking. Quality backlinks because Google's Google's guidelines, they're very strict on what type of backlinks they're going to accept and what type of backlinks they're going to actually let you rank for and actually give you credit to add authority to your site and add authority in your rankings. So you want to be very intentional with the types of links that you're building or the firm's building. And, you know, sometimes that comes at a cost. But I'm telling you, Doing it right the first time is so much better than having to redo it just a few extra times to make up for the one bad time that you decided to spend $20 on 200, 300 links. Like, let's just, let's just do it right the first time. Let's spend the money. We're investing this money. And I promise you the ROI on your investment is going to be that much better if you spend it on good quality links. But um, this all just goes into the conversation. Again, you can shop around. There's there's several different SEO companies out there who may have pricing. Diff it's, all, it's all different. You're never going to find two that are the same. So I just really wanted to get it in your head. Good quality backlinks is what you're trying to aim for. So again, you want to spend the money Spend it wisely so that we don't have to spend it again some other time to make up for the poor quality links that you invested in. So keep that in mind. So that's number seven. Oh, and we're done. So that concludes this podcast. That's been some really good guideline baseline stuff. Um, again, the conversation of backlinks, it's we could sit here and talk for hours and, you know, if you want to talk to me for hours, you can scan that QR code. I'm more than happy to. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions on a serious note, please scan that QR code, book a call with me, um, and I'm more than happy to do a free local SEO strategy call. All these things that I just discussed and I went over is the exact same that I would expect you to kind of go through an interview process with me and my SEO company. These are all things that we take seriously and that we take into consideration whenever we're doing products and services. Um, so we just want to make sure that you are getting the best of the best. And I mean, you know, I may be a little biased, but hey, Bepper Media is where it's at. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to listen to this episode of SEO Secrets. Take the time. Invest in your business, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for listening to this episode of SEO Secrets. 